Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, I thought I'd share this video. Um, I've been doing this a lot lately, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are already familiar with this, but I know there's a handful of people that probably aren't. And as you saw from the thumbnail and the title, you guessed what it is. It is how to reuse your one pound LP tanks. Um, so obviously everybody's familiar with these in your camping camping section, uh, sporting goods stores, you know, uh, home improvement stores, things like that. These things are super handy, whether, like I said, if it comes to camping for your little, uh, you know, Coleman stoves or your Mr. Buddy heaters, uh, little grills, things like that. We use these quite a bit here on our, uh, our, our house and when we go out into the woods. Um, also, it's uh, fall right now, so winter's right around the corner, so come hunting season. We use these things all the time for our little um, Mr. Buddy heaters when we're out in the blind, so on and so forth. But I thought I'd go ahead and share how I do it. Um, obviously, never mind my backdrop, we're just here on the outside of uh, one of my shops and my, my shed here. Um, and this is the little uh, product I wanted to talk to you about. It's just this little brass uh, inline connector. Uh, it's got some reverse threads there, and what this does is actually gives you the opportunity to fill these up with just a standard 20 pound tank. Um, so all you need is just a handful of things and I'll show you how I do it. It's not perfect every time but over the years I've accumulated dozens of these and you know I wonder how many of these are just in the landfill. Uh, obviously they don't say that you can refill them obviously because that's a marketing scheme so they want you to just buy more. And let's see, about five years ago, you used, to be, you used to be able to get, I think it was four of these for like five or six bucks. Now it's like seven, eight, nine, ten dollars for two. So I quit buying them about a year or two ago uh, and just bought this little cheap little adapter, which I will throw a link down in the description below. So you can get this little adapter. If you got one of these, uh, you know, 20 pound tanks laying around, you can exchange them for 15 to 25 bucks depending on where you're at. We're pretty lucky here, it's about 15 bucks to exchange them. Um, and I'll just show you a couple little tricks that I use, uh, you know, to get these filled up. So I'll get you down a little closer and let you see how I do this. All right, so as I was saying, this is pretty much everything you need here. Obviously you need your one pound tank. Apologize for the noise as well. It's a pretty windy day today, so hopefully this little uh, dead cat's working. But anyways, one pound tank, 20 pound tank. Small adapter, a crescent wrench. I use a cinder block to just keep it off the ground. And then also a small little pair of hemostats. Uh, the little ones with the, the bent end on them are the ones I like best and I'll show you what those are for here in a minute. All right, so I got it up on the cinder block here. Now we just have to add our adapter. So obviously, um, you have the outer threads, which is designed for your just standard hookups for your grills and heaters and things like that. This one here actually goes onto the inside threads and they are reverse threads. So normally, obviously, righty tighty, lefty loosey. This time it's gonna be lefty tighty going to go ahead and screw that bad boy in. So get it nice and hand tight there and you'll get your crescent wrench and just snug it down nice and tight. So now, now we're ready to set up for our one pound tank. Now this is going to be a standard thread, so this will be righty tighty. We're going to go ahead and screw this in just like so, nice and hand tight. And then I'll show you the trick here. So move the camera a little bit, sorry for bouncing you guys around. Note to self, we are working with flammable gas, obviously. So that's why I'm outside. Uh, it's a nice windy day. Uh, I actually have a fire going in my shop because it is pretty chilly this morning it was. This is not, this is not something you want to do inside at any time. I don't care rain, shine, or cold. Do this outside. 
because there will be some fumes and you can smell that. So what I got here is I got it up on my cinder block and then what we're going to do is actually just turn the whole thing upside down. The cinder block works pretty well because the spacing actually sits pretty well right on top. So I'll show you here. Go ahead and turn it upside down. Just like so. Now I'll get you down here and show you where the magic happens. Alright, so sorry if it's kind of shaky, I got you on handheld here. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do, switch that stabilization off and on, sorry about that. So as you can see, I got it upside down sitting on the cinder block. We have it in there. So then what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to see if I can do this one handed, not recommended, is what we're going to do is we're just going to open that valve up and we're going to see if you can hear it here. Get my hand out of the way. So we're in business right now. It's filling up. Sorry, I had the mic turned around. So I'm not sure if you could hear it, but you could actually hear it kind of start filling up the tank. What I do is I just leave it open here for a little bit until you hear that hissing sound go away. Um, and what that's doing is obviously all the liquid propane settle into the bottom and the pressure's filling up this one pound tank. So we could right now, in theory, go ahead and shut this off flip it back around and take this off and we would be good. But there's a little trick that I like to do and I'll show you on this one here that I haven't done is this is obviously one we're gonna fill up next. But you see right there, there's your main uh, hookup and then right there is actually a pressure relief valve. And inside of there, there's a small, the actual little, we'll just call it a pin. You can see that little pin. So if this thing exceeds a certain PSI, that relief valve is actually, it's a mechanism to design to obviously bleed off the pressure so that this thing isn't just a little bomb in your hands. So right now, the pressure is obviously not great enough to activate that pressure relief valve. So what we're gonna do is just kinda give it a little hand with our little small hemostats. So, sorry for the shaky footage here. See if I can't get in and see if you can see that little pressure relief valve right there. And I'm gonna try to get in there, grab it with my hemostats and just give it a little pull. So what I did there was I relieved some pressure so that the tank could actually fill up a little bit more. And what you can do is, obviously this is hard to do one-handed because I have the, uh, here let me just get you switched around. Alright, so I got this thing, uh, I already bled it off a little bit, but one thing you can do with your hemostats is, uh, when you have two hands on here to help stabilize it, is get, just give it a little like one, two, three, and if you see a little bit of li liquid shut out, then you're good. So let's see if we can get you in here. There we go. So I'm not sure if you could tell on the camera, but it started to stay open a little bit. And that last little purge that I did, a little bit of that liquid came out. So we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up. Righty tidy. We can flip this bad boy over, or technically you could take it off right here. But for the sake of the video, I'll flip it upside down, from right side up. It's all the way off. I can back this off. And now, it's full. So we'll go ahead and do it to the second one here. In real time. Filling up, I can still hear it. I can feel it, hear it hissing.
Okay, it slowed down. I can barely hear the hissing now, so I'm going to reach in there with my hemostats. There we go. Got a little bit of liquid coming out, just kind of purged it. It's hissing a little bit more. And it stops. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut this valve. Right side up, make sure that's nice and tight. A little poof of gas there, so you can't smell it, obviously, that's why we're doing it outside. There we go, we got two pounds LP, ready to go. Alright guys, so uh, that's going to do it for this video. Obviously, that's just a quick little hack, how to fill up these two one pound tanks off of your standard 20 pound tank. So, thought I'd go ahead and share this video. I had uh, uh, some friends of ours that actually asked us what we do with all these when they're empty. And so I thought I'd go ahead and make this video, show what I do with them. And like I said, I have dozens of these uh, that I'll probably never have to buy again. As long as you have access to these 20 pound tanks and this small little adapter, you're set. As I said, I'll throw that link down below. You can get it for less than 20 bucks. Um, it's hard to beat. So. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and feel free to click that bell notification button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. Other than that, it's going to wrap it up. I'm Matt with Outside the Box. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video, and we will see you on the next one. Take care.